Cyborg, I think you have a, a review for us, an early review. Yeah, yeah. So the idea we talked about this segment, and 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 um, you know, granted, these are, aren't games that will will have played through the entire thing or anything like this. This is kind of going to be a first impression kind of segment. Um, yeah. and, and one that I picked up here over the holiday, because uh, I love I love the app sales, especially during the holidays. I pick up a lot of stuff on my phone, um, and one of them was. Call of Duty Strike Team. Um, I, I thought this was, and I didn't know what to expect from it, but uh, it got knocked down from. It's currently going for six ninety nine, both on the uh, iTunes and the Android app stores. Uh, but it was two ninety nine. I'm like, you know what? That's low enough. I'll give it a shot. Uh, let's see some Call of Duty. I, I was never impressed in the past. I've tried some of the trials for like the Call of Duty Zo Call of Duty Zombies on there, and of course, it's always kind of touchy doing first person. Uh, on an iPhone. Of course, it's also compatible with... I, uh, I would love to play this on a newer iPad, to be honest. I don't even want to try it on my uh, iPad 1, for instance. I grant that Auto, Auto 3 runs pretty sad on that thing. I, this thing's not going to run good. Um, so, if, if you guys remember, uh, Black Ops 2, they had... I, did they call it Strike Team Mode? When we had, like, you could pop up to the map and you had, like, waves of people coming in. Wait, is that is that accurate? <laughs> Horde. All of my was it horde? Oh, okay. Horde mode. Horde mode. No, no, no. This is part of no. the. It was part of the campaign, where where uh, you could pop up and you were sending troops in, and then you drop down and you're one of the troops. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. I yeah. think it was a strike team mode uh, in that. So this is strike <laughs> team. So it's kind of a takeoff on that. It, it's pretty cool. And I'll pull off a trailer. Uh, here's the here's the site. You can actually go to Call of Duty dot uh, com. I believe it's slash strike team uh, for info on this. I'll get you all the. You know, you can you see a little bit about it. Um, but it starts you off in first-person mode, so you get a little bit used to that. It is, again, you know, being a touchscreen, it's going to be a little goofy. I like that when they do uh, a lot of these, um, like when you're doing movement, a lot of times you can just put your thumb somewhere, and wherever you put your thumb becomes the touchpad. So you can get your, you can put your thumbs where you're comfortable, you know, where you think you're going to be out of, you know, out of the way, basically. Um, but from there... You go through, and it feels very Call of Duty. It's pretty cool. Um, but then, like, at any point, you can pop up. And here, you, you can pop up to the over uh, the over map, and you're controlling basically two guys all the time, right? Uh, so you can pop up and, and control them just as kind of a strategy game or just drop right in and do uh, first person. Um I thought it worked really well. I like the idea of, oh, I don't know about this situation, if I can see everything, so you'll pop up and just start directing people and tell them to attack the people, um, you know, getting through, like, you know, buildings, trying to infiltrate. Uh, and you can see a few shots there of, of what it looks it, The graphics look great. I'm playing this on an iPhone 5S, so, of course, it's going to be the best you can get, at least on the Apple side. Um, if it wasn't another $7, I would try it on my Nexus 7, to be honest, because that's supposed to be pretty uh, powerful as far as that with these NVIDIA graphics on these Android phones. Um, again, you know, a few levels into it, um, I didn't see, I don't think there's anything for multiplayer or anything like that, um, but I can definitely see uh, Call of Duty fans kind of getting into this as, as kind of a mobile fix, as something different, um, especially maybe like in between Call of Duties or something like that. I, I, I think they did, they did a really good job of getting that experience uh, kind of kind of down on that level. It's not as cinematic or anything like we like in the camp, like I like in the campaigns at least. I know you guys are mostly kind of more into it for the multiplayer, um, but I, everything's customizable. They do do a little of that. Um, you get hey come back you got a, a tokens for the day or something like that and i think they do have a little bit of a freemium model in there it, although it's not freemium you paid seven bucks for this thing uh which again is kind of high for for mobile devices uh so again it's call of duty strike team uh, i kind of dig it cool that uh, sounds like a it's it's a fun like a uh, little distraction from regular call of duty it is it is I, it, it, it's something I, different i know a lot of us weren't really digging ghosts that much mm -hmm. so but hey, I like to see them trying new, new different things. They're going to. Obviously, they are with ghosts. Um, and uh, I, I think this this might be the right first step as far as trying to get this working on mobile. So um, it, it doesn't feel kind of weird ass backwards like uh, Riz. I think you I think you're the one that brought up the Assassin's Creed uh, Pirates game a few weeks mm -hmm. ago, and that seemed like 
we just kind of took a feature of the game and kind of stripped it down and you're kind of playing an aspect of it. Like, this, this looks like the first version of a completely different game. It does, but it's enough elements from Call of Duty that you're familiar with it. Um, it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like they stripped a lot of, out of the game to stick it all on the phone. They just say, well, it's kind of like this version. And it is kind of like that version from Black Ops 2 that you would play. Uh, so I, I think it's a winner as far as that goes. As far as like a $7 game, if you're really into Call of Duty, I think it's worth it. Again, Android, um, iOS as well. Uh, looks like it's compatible very much so with the tablets as well. I think that would be a great experience for this game just from a little bit. I'm, I, I just think playing on the phone, I do wish I had a bigger screen with it. Like sometimes I just feel a little bit cluttered. Um, that's that's probably my biggest complaint. But there it is, Call of Duty Strike Team. Bobby? Cool. Sounds like a nice uh, app to pick up if you're interested in it. Definitely.